The sound of the final buzzer means it's hangover time. So grab a drink and join your host, Alphonse Sidney, for a Miami Heat Beat post game show. Heat win! Heat win! I'm not going to pretend like I watched this whole game. I'm really not. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I respect. The audience's intelligence way too much. Um, I didn't even get like a haircut or a shave for this game. Listen, it's Friday night. We out here. I've been drinking since like four. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I got to the game around like the middle of the second quarter. Apparently, your seven went off because I got a bunch of tweets saying, Al, if you're wrong about your seven. And then I saw the highlights of your seven. He was dunking on concession stand workers. And like, I'm like, okay, great. It's uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, like Tyler went off. Uh, one of the things I'll say about this game is Tyler Hero loves to play basketball because I'm just a regular dude and you couldn't have paid me to stay in this game. Tyler was like, I ain't coming out. It's the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? Like we're playing against the Spurs. Like it's a big game. And like, they're like, Tyler, we've played three games in four nights. Like sit your ass down. Alf, yeah, I'm slurring. Okay, I told you, I've been drinking since like four. Like, it's Friday. Like, listen, you guys got to get off my back. Yes, I'm about 12 drinks in. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck the chat. Um, but, yeah, the Heat played basketball tonight. Tyler Hero looked great. Uh, they were playing the Spurs starters, who I thought were a bunch of G-leaguers, but apparently they're all NBA starting players, I guess. All right, Brass, go ahead and bring me out. I, I I know you guys. I, I really hyped up this game and this and this hangover time. Duggan Robinson scored zero points apparently. Like what the hell happened tonight? Micah Potter Micah awesome. Potter went off. I'm a big Micah Potter supporter. I don't even love the thing. love the novels. Big, Excellent series. <laughs> Excellent series. Great what value Myers Leonard, do? whatever you want to call him. Whatever. Like, we really should have did like, – like, yesterday's game was really like – tonight's game was exciting at the end. The Struce was loose. Uh, Max Struce is a beast. I, I don't want to hear nothing. Like, that man's an we, NBA player. We had we had some stars tonight, and I don't even care. I'm taking this shit over. You know who was hot tonight. <laughs> Let me hit him one time with the monkey shoulder drip drop. <laughs> Listen, when the game started, I was fully prepared with the take – to come in tonight and say, listen, it's a back-to-back. Preseason doesn't matter. He even started off, you know, shitty. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And then they started dropping. And homie went off and led us into halftime with, uh, I, what was it, like 14 points or something like that? He ended up with 26 tonight, possibly. I'm not looking at the stat sheet. I'm just trying to fill some time here. 26. While we, uh, handle some stuff. 26, thank you. Uh, yeah, and it was fucking amazing. So uh, I loved it. I'm, I'm here for that. Take me out, bros. Done. Yeah, listen. The star of the night was Micah Potter, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I, I I've I've carved out this stance that I'm a big Yurt Seven hater on Twitter. So, um, so honestly, weird. I know it's a weird stance, but honestly, if you want to big up Yurt Seven, uh, Micah Potter outplayed him tonight. Anyway, uh, we'll get into. I that. mean, what, what, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. What, wait, I'm sorry. That's that's the Drewski. The uh, the. The the Michael Jordan the Bulls documentary. <laughs> uh, all right, Brad. So let's find out what everybody's drinking. And bef- while we're finding out what everybody's drinking, we have a special guest tonight. So go ahead, Brass. Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Joe. Couldn't be forever to get in here. I'm here though. Oh, oh mm. 
Okay, well, okay. Before we find out what everybody's drinking, let's let's talk about Kenny on CP Kenny, time. Kenny, <laughs> come on, you came come up on. here on CP time. Kenny, first time. I don't know what you're on. talking about. Let's All right, so in the in in the bottom corner, we have Kenny sixteen texts, uh, aka Silas P. Silas. I don't. I don't. I, yeah. I, what I do we call? Know. What do I? I wasn't. What sure. is your real name? Yeah. Is your real name Kenny? <laughs> so, no, no, so my real name is Kenny. So I've been using movie characters to like avoid people from my job finding me at work. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Silas besides just met the man's character and how high. Okay. Was oh, that okay. his name, Silas? Okay, all right. Yeah. But my real what, name I, what what the hell is there a storm coming? I don't know if y'all heard that shit. There's a I fucking did. thunderclap. I'm yeah. like, did I did I upset God by t- talking to Kenny? <laughs> um <laughs> so <laughs> Lord Jesus, please help me. Um so Kenny was supposed to be here a few minutes before the buzzer. Um, we sent Kenny the link. Kenny showed up while the opening intro was playing. <laughs> your maiden voyage on Hangover Time, Kenny. Please explain your black ass timing. <laughs> like this is the most colored person shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you showed up late. For your first day on the job, Kenny, explain yourself. I ain't come right, here to so, work. I ain't come here to work, damn it. Well, I guess even worse than that. So I got scammed a few oh. weeks ago. And so like, oh, no. so I lost my old, well, I didn't lose. I had to change my number. So all my um, two-step verifications are on the old number, apparently. And so I went ahead and I had to change that just now. Damn, what'd you do to her? Did you call your car as well? Huh? <laughs> Did she key your car as well? No, 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 no. I ain't that. Kenny, listen. <laughs> you, you are you on thin ice here, brother. Hey, I get it. I'm here though. <laughs> what are you drinking tonight? I got a Jack and Coke because I'm a middle aged white man. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. I, had to I, like pick up real quick. And I like it. I like it. Listen, all right. I, you I'm rede- a fan of the drink personally. You redeemed yourself with the my Jack demographic, and Coke. So. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I drink all the time, so we good. If if you was out here with a spritzer or some shit, we'd have a problem. Now, I had to be real careful in the you know liquor store too, because y'all be cooking people for their drinks. So I had to get something <laughs> you know, new. Can't come here with that weak shit. First of all, you came here late. I mean, yeah. We can understand that because despite brass, we a black show over here. So <laughs> You know, I can't come out here with the, I can't come here late with the barefoot vodka and wine or whatever it is. Yeah, you can't come with no no barefoot wine, none of that yeah. bullshit. I'm white as fuck, so it's all leveled out somehow. That Boone's for yeah. it's it's all right, Brass. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Thank you, Brass, for being our white anchor. Pleasure. <laughs> Happy to be here. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are we? What are we drinking? What are we, what are people we are talk about this game. Drinking? They're hype. Sorry, three, three, three wins in a row. What when I start drinking too early, this show we had nothing. Yeah, to do yeah we know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I apologize. Preseason. Preseason. Who's drinking what next? All right. Tim, what are you running. drinking? All right. Yeah. Let's, let's... I'm, I'm slowing down for the evening. I just got home. I saw five minutes of that game. Um, God damn it. Listen, Micah, Michael, Mohan, whatever <laughs> was grabbing boards. <laughs> And I'm sliding into hangover time with this Corona. This is the last drink of the night. All right. Oh, there we man. go. Yes. I'm on that Tito's, by the way. This was full oh, at the boy. beginning of the night. I'm joking. No, no. That's <laughs> Y'all would have That's to call okay. social services on my head. Bob, what are you drinking? Some Jose and some <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Boost. Yeah, I just, you know, I was we coming on to a rant there. We got you. You, you taking control of the show like Twisted did on that Five Reasons Spaces. Jose earlier. and Ginger Beer. <laughs> Jose, Ginger. Okay, very Jose nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. That's it. Bond That's took it, over the uh, Miami Heat Beat account tonight. So if you were Killed following tonight, us, by the way, hashtag on Bond's the- Beat. Honestly, the hey. best. The uh, so at least the, one of us watched the whole damn game. Yeah, the most insightful the Heat beat has ever been. It's really gonna um, carry the show. <laughs> yeah, please, Bond. Just talk for the next just, thirty minutes. Uh, Brass, <laughs> what do you got tonight? Uh, I made something I hadn't had this before. I made a rusty nail, which is actually moose. It's uh, I got some monkey shoulder in this, some monkey there shoulder and and, uh, and drambuie. So it's uh, it's it's good. I needed something simple. I got work early tomorrow, but I'm not going to stop drinking. 
I appreciate that. No, no, no. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yes. And real quick, I, I know I'm already told you what I'm drinking, but I got to give my girl Carla Tiana some love. The nephew's 10th birthday, y'all. So I'm going to hit him with a very special one time drip drop. <laughs> Woo. Had to love it. Her, I promised her. Three in a row, man. Let's get fucking hyped. I mean, obviously, Heat are undefeated in preseason. The offense looks the, better. The Tonight, first three and not... team in the entire NBA I right mean, now. Yeah. Thank you, Brass. Thank you for bringing us back into perspective. The Heat are undefeated. I fully expect them to go 82-0 and 0 in the regular season. Um, what can you take away from this game, Tiff? Like, what is, like, your take? <laughs> like, what can you look at this game and say, this is solid? Because – I have a bunch of people yelling me, yelling at me, saying, "Omer, you're seven, and you know, going forward, like he showed you tonight, he's a legit NBA big." What can you take away from this game? You didn't watch it, but from the box score, <laughs> I ain't look at the box score. Okay, well, I have, all right, Kenny, cool, Christ. all right, yeah. <laughs> Kenny, what can you take away from this game uh, besides Omer, you're seven, being one of the best backup bigs in the league? <laughs> So that was the main thing I took away from it. Omar year seven is better than Wilt Chamberlain. But mm-hmm. <laughs> Correct. He was playing directly against Alf. But, nah, but he was out there. I mean, he was grabbing boards, strong boards. The thing about him, like, just to, like, stop playing around and, like, not being so extreme on either end, <laughs> he is going to be pretty good at one point. Right now, he has a good foundation. He got the soft touch around the basket. He got some skills. He's attacking the boards. He's not athletic at all. No. He's finding his way around that. He was fat in college. He's not fat anymore. So <laughs> he's working on it. He's going to get there. But I like what he has so far. But, like, okay. So, Bon, you are – okay, Moose, go ahead. I just – I got to back him up because <laughs> I think. know – <laughs> sourdough, but you know what? Sourdough bread is the most delicious. What do you make the best sandwich with sourdough bread? Let me tell you something right now. Yurt Seven, or as I like to call him, Turkey Dinner, was carving people up. That's right. I'm trying to get a freshly promo here. That's what he was doing, all right? Now, yes, there's things he needs to work on, Alf. We're not trying to, like, get ahead of ourselves here. The guy is still a rookie. Like, all we've seen from him is summer league. But what he's showing us, at least in the uh, in the preseason right now, is that he can earn some minutes on this team. Gluten-free, that's right. Your boy's trying to, you know, stay thin for y'all for a drip drop night. Yeah. Last year, put on some LBs. It's okay. We're getting back to it. Back to the game, though. Brass, take me out. <laughs> You're uncomfortable? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, Siobhan, what, oh, what, sorry, Brad. What, what I was going to say with, with, with your – I mean, I understand. I think we all, not all of us, but some people are kind of burned with the KZ thing because I, for one, am very over the KZ project. Um, And I know it's going to be a matter of bodies at a certain point this season, but like, you know, there was a lot of hype and, and, but that's the thing. Let me back up. There actually wasn't really hype. We do this to ourselves. This is all exactly. very much self-inflicted. Brand and we and we need to really step back and realize we're doing this to ourselves sure. and we're 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 having fights and we're like, "Well, you hyped him up and you did you this like it's fucking like who was really expecting that much from KZ?" I mean, they did kind of move up in the draft for him, whatever. Point being, <laughs> I just this like y- Yurtseven is is looking really fucking solid and i'm very happy with what i've seen and uh and then regarding kz i get super fucking upset when he gets auto subbed in on 2k i want to throw my controller at the <laughs> oh, tv it's the worst. Did, did, because uh, he is KZ absolutely not, unplayable did kz not play tonight no yeah. I obviously i i don't know whether he plays or not he's just he's invisible anyway yeah. siobhan you watched the whole game because you live tweeted the whole game. I think you and Kenny are the only ones who watched the whole game. What was your biggest takeaway besides your seven dominating um, guys who have second jobs? Well, the the starters played their starters played most or a good chunk of the game. Um, I think it kind of wait wait wait. Into- One thing real quick is that Eubanks guy a starter? I don't know, but the rest of them were. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I was looking, I, I didn't recognize a single person except for like the white. What go? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. Um, 
DeJounte played, Derek played, Yaka Porter played. So, like, their main guys played. And I think tying into the yurt thing is that um, when these lineups are, you know, I think optimized and get a bit more time together, uh, Tiff and I have talked about this a little bit. Miami is capable <clears throat> of playing two styles of game. Athletic, he isn't, and that's fine. He's solid, though, and it's on the coaching staff to figure if, you know, they want to get him minutes or find him someplace. I put uh, Micah over him at the moment. Um, but I like what you did. Um, I think if <laughs> that you dirt Damn. seven, don't throw an don't throw an Uber me. Take to the game. shots at Alex. <laughs> oh shit! The <laughs> <laughs> dude that Uber dunked on Ubered him to the game. I don't want this to make it all. I honestly, I don't want to make this all about Omer. Um, I just feel like we we've gone through Jarnell Stokes, we've gone through Yante Mayton, like we've done a lot of the. Okay, so here's my thing about Bigs, right? If when you go to the G League and summer league and these amateur leagues, a big guy who could post up in the middle and move his weight around a little bit, like a Yante Mayton, can do some things in the low post. And they could trick you into thinking that they could take that to the next level. Then they get to the next level, and Joel Embiid is in that motherfucker. And you ain't moving, Joel. You ain't moving. Like, you ain't moving Mason Plumley. You know what I mean? Like, Yate Mayton against Mason Plumley, he ain't shaking nothing. And I'm looking at your seven, and, like, honestly, I like the guy. I, he, I think he's very skilled, but I just don't think a guy that slow and that cumbersome can – excel in today's game this in 1998 your seven would have been a beast you know what i'm saying stop calling him yurt and the whiskey like that man don't have no dirt and the whiskey game like you keep showing me highlights of him posting up a five foot ten dude out of you know central connecticut state like i don't want to see that shit no more <laughs> like the I, I, I hope he's i hope he's dope i hope he's i hope he's fire but I, that's my whole thing about uh, uh, Omer. I just don't want people to get out of control. People are talking about, should he start over PJ next to Bam? That's the shit I'm telling y'all pause on hard. Like, my man is not even an NBA player yet. But I'm going to go to you, Kenny, because me and you have gone back and forth a thousand times on Twitter. Yeah. I be shitting all over Tyler Hero all the time. Everybody knows it. I Like... I, I, I will say that I've always couched it with the Heat have done Tyler a disservice by putting him on this pedestal that he wasn't quite ready for yet. And then I did say last year that the Heat needed a point guard way more than they needed a Tyler Hero. Now they have a point guard and they kept Tyler Hero. And I feel like he is in the perfect position this year to go crazy. He can go ham this year. He's like he is well positioned to have a great year. What did you see from Tyler tonight? I saw exactly what he was supposed to do this whole time. And so that's the reason I was never down on him is because I always knew what he is. I think people are expecting him to go out there and be Bradley Bill or something. He's not. He's going to be a really good scorer off the bench for a really long time, especially now with them being committed to Duncan. They're not about to sit $90 million. So Tyler is a good scorer off the bench. That's that. But And that is fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what he should be. And especially now with the weight that he bulked on or whatever the case is, now he'll be able to go in and take a little contact. He didn't do that too much tonight. I want to see more of that like I did in the previous games. But now he's going to be a little better of a scorer, especially now that he's going to have this bench all to himself. And even when we get Vic back, he'll still have that. Vic can worry about the defense, score when he needs to. But I'm high on Tyler. I've always been high on Tyler, and I'm even higher on Tyler now than I was before. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I, <laughs> Damn, getting emotional. I, was, I know, man. Me too. Yeah. When I see Listen, Tyler play like somebody, this, I'll, somebody, I get emotional too. I get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> somebody needs to jot that down Tears, for like the worst out, moments you know? of uh, <laughs> for the hotties next season where I couldn't talk because I drank too much vodka. Yeah. And Can we please it's, write down all it's destroying my esophagus. Anyway, um, Duncan Robinson played 28 minutes and scored zero points. Was, I think, a, a team worse minus nine. Does that concern anybody here? No. Y'all, no. Y'all shook your head really quick. Yeah. There's a, there, that creates a pause. 
That oh, well, see, pause. that's what it I was does. waiting for. You was waiting. You knew it. You knew I. You, it does. I knew you were coming. You, you, I knew you were coming. That's on the coaching staff, though. Yep. They got to get him to a position to where he's going to have to be able to like get that ball in places he's not comfortable, mm-hmm. put it on the deck, or either he's going to have to shoot it. Like that trigger is going to have to get a lot quicker than it was, because he's not comfortable yet. So that's the coaching staff. They got to get him ready. They got to get him ready to go. I'm not concerned that he won't hit the shots. I'm concerned he doesn't know what to do right now. Yeah. That's exactly it. But it's also like we got time. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm not, we're not talking about yet. time. He yeah. just said, I'm just breaking it down what yeah, it I looks like. Because right. here's the thing. What looks like today can look like two weeks from now, especially if other players are rolling. See, yeah. that's the difference. With the way the offense looks now, He's getting. He can get yeah. easily lost in the sauce. Yeah, but but like this comment, no, no, Doug was playing with players who who don't know how to play with him. He needs screens. I what I was gonna say is but to the. But to, you to can, the, he's still. But this this but this squad that he started with tonight, he's not playing with these dudes. Like he's not he's not starting with these people. So he's so yeah, it's something. He didn't look. He didn't look good tonight. But I'm it, I'm not concerned because he was actually looking really good with you know his actual starting line well he looked at in the second game because he he is good he is no, good Tim, enough he, defensively for, right but he, after what, the first quarter of the first game but, he looked what, really but good what did too. you ask uh-huh. you said you zero points we didn't say I, anything about defense we're talking about finding spots for him to shoot and be comfortable to shoot that's all on coaching yeah. So what? It, so yeah, he's not always going to play with the starters that he right. plays. Right. Like most. We yes. Will, will a good chunk of his minutes come with that? Yes. The issue. Yeah, it is coaching. What I was saying before, Miami has the ability now to kind of play two styles of game, and one of those styles of game, what they were doing a lot of last year, the DHOs, like all of that sent was centered to funnel through him. They have to be able to. They have ease of offense now. They have other weapons. They have other guys like Tiff said that can get rolling. So. In those instances, it it looks awkward with Duncan on the floor because yeah, it the motion or the actions that he's so used to is you know all of that stuff that he was doing last year. It's a pause until they figure it out, but it is a coaching adjustment to make it work. And so to that point, as far as the lineups go, I knew he wouldn't play too well tonight because Spo was just trying some shit. If if you notice, it was Duncan and Struce on the floor pretty much together the whole game. Mm-hmm. And so I figured one of them would go off and the other one wouldn't just because it's kind of weird navigating with them kind of – they don't have two similar styles, but their main thing is to shoot. And so I had a feeling one of them would have a pretty bad game and it ended up being Duncan tonight. But, again, they won't play together too much in the season until they at least figure that out in practice. But we have to also eliminate the they won't play together. We saw some crazy-ass lineups last <laughs> yeah. season. Yeah, so, Duncan played Austin together last yeah. season. So we got to remind ourselves we're still in a pandemic. So we might see some crazy-ass lineups. Jaylen and then Brown, we can't, That's fair. Like, That's understandable. So we yeah. can't show up and go, oh, my God, he had to play with Yurt. No, Dunk, you got to score. <laughs> Yeah, like, go no, ahead, Mo. Well, yeah. so, no. I mean, I, I just I I agree with both points, but I was gonna make that same point, Tiff. It's almost like you know, let's not forget Spo also uses the first two months to completely try out every right. single yeah. line of possibility yep. to the yep. point that it even frustrates us at times, right. you know? Like what the fuck are you doing? We know that's not gonna work. Well, for him, he still needs to see it. So that's what he's gonna be doing in these next two months. It's not just preseason dj so, stewart played more minutes than anyone tonight 37 minutes yeah i mean who is that that's spo trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i don't know this is what but this is what i'm saying like you know yeah. he's you know it's this i is thought a, he played for the spurs he's saying yeah. I, was it's I, I actually did i i, I, I didn't that. i i didn't even realize bryn forbes plays plays there anymore i'm every time he's on the court oh, he fucking terrifies I me now and then there was a, we have we have a smart apparently we have a, a guy <laughs> with with the last name smart he was balling at the end of the game what i will what i'll say about duncan it's a little bit concerning for me a little bit but you pay duncan to give yep. to space your starters like you you pay duncan because he makes kyle lowry uh jimmy butler bam out of bios life easier that's what you paid him for this dude was out there playing with none of those dudes. I was watching Micah Potter try and Yurt try to set screens. 
holy shit. Oh, like, I'm like, did y'all never played AAU? You never played rec league? Like, right. they couldn't set a fucking screen to save their life. So but that's why he needs more action. Than but that's the thing. They, they, were, they were running nothing for Duncan tonight, which is why I'm like, why did he play 28 minutes? Like, I, you know, I had a tweet and I, like, I'm tired of them making this white man run like a Kenyan. Like, he, he needs a break. Like, the man needs some time off. That man been running for three years like he owes somebody something. I'm tired of it. Like, <laughs> Duncan needs a break. But like, what you're I, saying Why would he run around for 28 to... minutes for nothing? But what you what? just said, though, is they work when he does run around, when he has people setting screens for him. So in order to do less of that, he has to get better at catching and shooting. Yeah. But, Shabbat, he will never play with this lineup ever again. Like they, but they, he's gonna have to catch and shoot with the one with the, other, with the starters. You know he's he can catch to. and shoot. The pro okay. Oh, first of all, in 28 minutes, he only shot five times. Five times in 28 minutes is terrible. That means they weren't getting him the ball when he got every shot I saw him take was contested. Like that's not what Duncan's gonna be doing. Duncan's gonna be getting open. You know he they, shot better on contested looks last season than he did from open. Yes, but also there were people were focused on somebody else at least a little bit. They glued them all fucking to him all night. Like, why would you leave Duncan? I mean, hey, that's what happens when you get when you're one of the best. I get it, but like he ain't Clay. He ain't that. Like some like somebody was arguing that oh uh, he ain't Clay, and somebody was like ha ha, and they posted his three point percentage. I'm like, chill. He still ain't Clay. Like you, you, you know what I mean? He's like not, but he's one of the best shooters in the game. Which he means is. this mm -hmm. season, somebody's going to be in that hip pocket all game, every game. So he's him. But it's no, yeah, you cannot yeah. you cannot put somebody in this hip pocket this year. Well, not with, the, I, not I, with I, the starting line. I think our overall point is it's not all on Duncan, right? It's no, all, it's I mean not because all it's Duncan. you know he's Duncan get, is a he's get help. And, like uh, I being out there alone. Siobhan, Siobhan threw that out there, something I said in our a private group chat, that Duncan is going to be an afterthought this year, so his scoring is going to drop, but he's going to be a lethal afterthought. Duncan is a complimentary player. Mm -hmm. You put him – like, you can't put Duncan on – what's a trash-ass team? The Spurs, okay? Like, you can't put him next to Eubanks, <laughs> who I found out was a starter tonight. Kevin Eubanks. Uh, yeah, yes, that guy. I don't even think he's really that guy. I have no <laughs> idea what his first name is. Like, you can't put him next to Eubanks because he's a complimentary guy. Like He's the kind of guy you put on a winning squad that spaces the floor and he feeds off of other players. But like tonight, I mean, you couldn't – we all know Tyler Hero doesn't really create for other guys. Like So I'm not really – I'm not holding tonight against Duncan. It, to me, it's a little bit alarming, but I watch how he's – played in the first two preseason games with Lowry and Butler and Bam, and I'm not really that concerned. He And he's gotten better. He's gotten more ah. consistent better every year. Like, I, So, yeah, I just I think it's a one-game sample. And I'm, and his defense to me. is way better. Yeah, his um, defense was getting better. His defense is way better. Season. Yeah. But you know what? I think, I think they saw that check. I think he shows his check to the rest before the game. Like, listen, motherfuckers. <laughs> Give me some calls. <laughs> I'm a goddamn starter, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. hey, 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 stop with the ticky tack bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, okay, so I want to talk about who, who Tiff calls the bad twin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I watched the game play? too late to see any Markeith Morris. Yes. Okay. Apparently, I played 12 minutes. He okay, what, so I'm going to Kenny and Siobhan on this because yeah, I don't think I any of us hear. saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go for Take it. it away. Please, like, please don't come to me. I don't want to I was about yet. to write it in the chat. Do not go to me. Do not go to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hashtag this league. Hashtag <laughs> this league. <laughs> That's so well, this, There's not a ton um, of analysis for him. I didn't see much. I saw one shot. Which was an air ball from the dotted line, and I was good oh, on no. him. So if he did play, <laughs> I didn't notice him. Exactly. If he that. did play, but aside from that, that was all I saw, and I don't want to see much else. Mm. So that's 
that's my take on. He's always <laughs> taking these off balance shots, and I'm, yes, I'm getting I tired see. of it. That's I'm what I'm saying, saying, right? What is that's up with that? Did. That's what he did. He played. He got 12 minutes. He scored five, I think. Yes, Ooh. but yeah. That, he two for six, and the four that he missed, at least three of them were like random off balance shots. Tyler threw him a lob. I'm like, now, <laughs> come on now, <laughs> somebody's uncle. We need like a whole segment yeah. just dedicated wait. to uncles around the league. We're wait, not going to get that. Wait. How, <laughs> wait. how many slices? You- how many sheets of paper could you slide under his feet? On that alley oop, <laughs> like three, four, like five tops. Right. <laughs> um, and he yeah. over the fifth. Let's talk about um, loose leaf. Yo, SL Gaskins in the chat said he looked like a wet beef patty out there. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> The whole nation yeah. of Jamaica is up in arms. <laughs> he just needs to make layups. Get to get to layup area. Yeah. Okay, so I, I was... want to say before I get pa- Papa snaps. Thank you for resubbing uh, tier one. By the way, thank you. Oh, y'all sub- subscribe to this shit. Yes, Papa thank snaps. you, thank you. Grip your hat. Hit him Come on, this. space. We got to pay Kenny for all the equipment <laughs> he's assembled over the last like six months as he's got it ready for his maiden voyage yeah. on hangover time. And the motherfucker was still late. <laughs> and the uh, tracks too. Kenny, you would, you've been preparing for this for like six months. How would, uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, so I was roundly, uh, castigated on Twitter for saying there's absolutely no way that Markeith Morris starts over PJ Tucker. And am I vindicated? I, I didn't see a single Marquise Morris minute tonight. Kenny, Siobhan, Brass, you guys watch the whole game. Am I vindicated? Is there a chance that Marquise Morris starts over a healthy P.J. Tucker? He shouldn't be in the rotation. At least not yet. Damn, bro. Damn. Bring him out towards the playoffs maybe for, like, these veteran plays or whatever. Yeah. But... His leg's not right. He was gout shuffling up the floor. He, <laughs> yeah. got, he got a – he, he got a warm backup. Yeah, De- Deadman's got to give him a tune up. You know? Wait, are you trying to say he got he got lower back pain and shit? Like he he, he running got sciatica. I was about he got sciatica. Like, it's a lot. The back of the knees is fine. He got a like, slip it's a disc. Yeah. It's it's the A one and the A four. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it act up on Wednesdays and Thursdays. When it, rain, when it rains is the problem. So we it's, it's all okay. that moisture in the air. Sorry. But hold on. <laughs> so if he's not playable, we that's a situation. He's but, he's cast Kendrick he's Perkins. Perkins. Playable. He can just be the enforcer. Just don't touch the basketball. <laughs> he said he's Cavs Kendrick Perkins. But which makes so much sense. Players, could this be one of those players that Spo puts in the starting lineup for like a minute and then takes him right out? And yes. you'll see him again. This is like, no, 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 not, no, not, 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 if P, a mo? If, is he a mo? Oh, if damn. PJ Tucker can breathe through a tube, even <laughs> like there's no reason. Like, I, like I'm telling you, like I was losing my mind. PJ Tucker left a champion. He left money on the table to come to Miami, and motherfuckers were out here wasting Al Gore's internet to tell me that Yurt Seven or fucking Markeith Morris was going to start over PJ Tucker. Al Gore's and Al Gore died for this shit. I think he's still alive, but Al yes. Gore died for this shit, and you gonna tell me that fucking Markeith Morris is gonna start over PJ PJ Tucker? Just won a fucking title. You think he came to back up Markeith Morris? There's Get the fuck out of here. Like, what know. are you? Y'all be on some, <laughs> y'all be on some dumb shit. Some, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with y'all. But anyway, yeah. that was there's my. A or, there's a minute or two for Markeith. I don't know what he's good at. So, that. <laughs> I, I, mean, looks... good, I think he's good at just being just <laughs> wide. And. <laughs> He's good at being. He's good at looking like Marcus Morris. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> he's good at layering clothing. Yeah, yeah. He's good at the padding. I, I, I will say, like, when him and, and Deadman are on the floor, that shit look intimidating as a motherfucker. I wouldn't drive on that shit. That's what he's there for. A fight breaks out. Yeah. I'm on mm-hmm. him, but basketball, no. You know, just like, knocking a couple people out. Him I, still, like him. I still think we'll, we'll see it. We'll see some games from him that he looks yeah. awesome. I'm sure he'll. Play. I'm just. I just don't want him to. Yeah. 
No, we can't rely on him. No. Katie said, I just don't want him to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think I've got, gone through every player that played tonight. Does anybody have a DJ Stewart take? <laughs> Hell of a <laughs> athlete. Thank you. Oh, a shot. Moose, Moose, I want to hear your DJ Stewart. Hell, hell of an athlete, one of the top three DJs that I personally know. Uh, I think I think he's really got some game. You know, I can see why he made it into the league and how he's going to stay there. Brass, uh, keep me out. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't take in. Oh, I had no idea. We have a bond breakdown. Oh, thank God. Why did we get to this shit? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me break it down. So it can forever and consistently be broke. I have a little bit of a bunch, but they'll go quick. Um, first one. I, I'm, I don't understand why it took us so long to get to this. Seriously. I should <laughs> probably read the this. group chat. The host. <laughs> <laughs> I should read the private chat. All in divine timing. Um, so, yeah, the first one I looked at was um, I watched some of the Spurs game from yesterday. <clears throat> and um, Jakob doesn't play Kelly Olenek exactly how he played. Pause. Exactly how he played them tonight. But who's that? Is, I spell it out for you. That's not how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> They're trying to be supportive. But but I had a friend on but I had a friend on Facebook uh who was commenting on my wedding pictures spell my name wrong. Like it literally was spelled correctly on the post that he's replying to. I've known him for 25 years. Go ahead, Kelly Alfonso. (laughs) Kelly uh, is gonna pop out here and Yaka Portal is with him, but late and not close enough. Go ahead. He was going to come off the screen, still haven't fixed the shorts, a great bounce pass behind the back, and uh, Kelly locks it down. So I was looking at whether or not they were going to play us similarly, and go ahead, press. Off the first possession. Are we playing it again? No, the next one. Okay. Off the opening possession, um... I tweeted from the main account, I believe that Tyler would have space to operate in that kind of that el- elbow area because of how far off they play. He's going to come all the way around. Pause. Space. Enough. Play. He just missed it. Um, and he had another one like soon thereafter that he just missed too. Um, more space for, for Tyler to create. Go ahead, um, Brass. Or for him to get good shots. Uh, pause. This is a layup. He's going to kick it out. Max is going to knock it down. But again, I don't know what San Antonio is doing defensively because now dude is number four is pressing up. Um, whereas the last few possessions I've seen, they've been dropping their big super low. Tyler could take this layup. He doesn't. Go ahead, Brass. He kicks it to Max. He knocks it down. <clears throat> um, next one. And oh, another uh, instance. <laughs> yeah. Um, pause. Same thing. Tyler has this his space. He's going to give um, a little stutter, some hurt and jerk. That floater has been there for him. I would have liked to see him take it here. Go ahead. I think he gets a turnover instead. Or just keep um, DeJounte on his right side. Finish with the you left know, This hand. is great, but he, he scored a lot of buckets tonight. Can we show some yeah. of that, please? <laughs> no, that's fine. Go to the next one. <laughs> um, what are we doing here on offense? Oh, and pause keep him on his back this is an uncle move he's not going up for that alley (laughs) keep him right here pinned below the rim (laughs) it only doesn't work because max is still um so tight and he doesn't vacate so his defender comes over for help but these are the types of things if people would just use their body better pin and seal um a lot of these plays will be over a lot sooner go ahead he stays where he is, and Max's man isn't there for help. That's a layup. And I think there's the one more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing, pause. Right here, Keith. We were talking about ways that he can be effective. Drop your right foot, put this little boy on your butt, hold him <laughs> off. Jakob, or not Jakob, um, Mr. Potter, get somewhere. That. That's, uh... 
get somewhere and uh, get your defender out of the area. And, you know, that's a that's a layup. We have a lot of instances um, we can do things like that. And we kind of don't. I want people to use their body better. But, yes, Tyler scored a lot of buckets. But, again, there, he has a lot of stuff open to him that he had last season that he wasn't – you can take me out um, – that he wasn't necessarily uh, taking with regularity. All right. Excellent. I like it. Thank you, Siobhan. Very nice. No problem. Thank you, Shahan. I finally know what happened tonight. Jeez, thank you. Bah- what is it? Bahan. Bahan. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's Bahan. Bahan. I mean, Bahan. I read it as Ban, like how my, Ban. my grandfather would probably write it out. Bang. Ban. 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 I feel like it's one of those things you get from the Korean places with the pork belly. Ban. Um, Kenny. Yeah. How do you feel about your maiden voyage, your late maiden voyage on uh, Hangover Time? I mean, thank God I made it at least. I thought I was going to show up in the middle of the show, honestly. You so wasn't going to show up in the middle. Right. You, you wasn't going to show up in the middle of the show. I know for sure y'all wasn't going to let me in. Yeah, we wouldn't let you in. <laughs> That's what I was, we, was the, we would have been the black people peeking out the curtain, looking at you while you looking at us. Mm. <laughs> with, with brass plus brass. Yeah, I know for sure I wasn't going to be So thank God I made it just in time. Well, honestly, there was a debate on whether we let you in or not. I was like, it's way better if we just roast Kenny <laughs> for showing up late for his first day on the job. I voted yes. I understand it. I understand it. it. I it. We I also said it. we also said you'd be too horny on the Twitter timeline. Yeah. You got to tone that no, down. I, I got to share. I love, honestly, I really want to clip that just to get Siobhan's reaction. <laughs> just a little bit. It's fine. Uh, I even changed my name for you, Kenny. And your ass showed up late. You never get that treatment again. Look. You know what? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll, I'll just formally apologize for that. It, listen, <laughs> you don't got to apologize. You just will never be back on again. I mean, <laughs> well, I don't mean to spend too much money on equipment. Do you have headphones in at least? I actually do. I just didn't put them on. Oh, you, you killed oh, me. Oh, motherfucker. Kenny. Oh, Kenny. 